My name is James Williams Jr. We're going to come for Havoc number two. I have two things to bring up and ask. And let me let me go first so I can get this off my head and get it over with. You play video games, and my, everybody who knows me has been watching, you know, one of my favorite video games is Mass Effect. And so I'm not going to deviate and go into Andromeda stuff and all that because you can watch the other videos that I posted up about that. Anyway, so what happens to the bodies? BioWare. And same thing to Capcom with Resident Evil. Why do the bodies have to disappear? Why can't they just stay there and let you know that you've killed the hell out of the zombies or the aliens? Anyway, let's go to the Mass Effect bar first. I don't know why they don't leave the bodies there because it, it, it takes a lot in some uh, Mass Effect games to make the body disappear. So I compliment that. But if you lay enough firepower into the bodies, they turn to ashes. So then it kind of explains them. So they're pretty much in the clear because sometimes the bodies stay and sometimes they don't. But most of the time, if you want the body to go away, you shoot that thing with the right blast and they catch on fire. You can see them in the second game patting fire out, which is cool as hell. And you can see them in the third game sometimes patting the fire out and, you know, just burning them up and shooting them. And if you just use regular hand blasters, sometimes they burn into ashes and they go away. Or they blink and they blink out in sight. All right, we're done with that. So let's move on to Resident Evil. So first off, the first Res there's Resident Evil that's coming out now, if it hasn't already dropped, um, it's a first-person shooter, so, you know, I'm not getting it. That's cool. I'm not going to even complain about it. I just know that I'm not going to get it, because um, the last first-person game they did was Survivor, and I got stuck in a room because I couldn't see where the liquor was, and the liquor just told my ass a new one, and I stayed on that board for like four or five days before I just said, fuck it. And I haven't played it since. Same thing happened to me with Red Ninja. Only difference is Red Ninja is on the PlayStation 2. And I have been stuck on one board for five years. And I got to the point where every time I get to that one part where I can't climb on top of that damn Buddha statue. I kill all the, the Shogun and the Samurais and everything. But when I get on that thing, I can't get to the statue. No matter what I do, I can't get on top of the statue to beat the damn board. And it's like, you know, Tomb Raider and Tenchi. This girl can like ninja jump and everything but this little ninja in her little kimono with her underwear showing um she can't get on that statue and no matter what I've done I can't get on that statue the good news is I have no idea what I've done with my Playstation 2 or the game so I don't have to worry about playing it anymore so that's that I guess in 20 years I'll find it and be able to beat the damn thing or I'm gonna get on YouTube and find out what happens at the end of Red Ninja I'm also stuck on Heavenly Sword because I can't seem to get the girl with Forrest Gump Syndrome to get her arrows to save the chief of the tribe that Noriko comes from. So that's pretty much the gist of that game right there. I'll have to watch the uh, Heavenly Sword movie that I have, which brings me right back to Resident Evil. Alright, so Resident Evil, this commercial came up on YouTube, and it had Rebecca in it, it had Leon, and it had Chris Redfield in it. And had some new guy who's taking over Neo Umbrella. I have no idea what the hell Neo Umbrella is. But hey, I'm going with it. Because I am truly a Resident Evil fan. I'm not going to ask any questions. I am down with this shit. And I'm thinking that I'm going to buy this badass video game. Which comes out sometime in February. And it is not a video game. It is an animated Capcom movie. Talk about feeling like a total loser. I watched this thing, I watched it like two times. The first time I watched it, I thought it was just going to be like this badass game. Everything's going to be in it. They're going to have Chris, they're going to have Leon, probably going to have multiplayer. You could probably be Rebecca on the stage like you did in, um, which game was it? It wasn't Zero, you, you had to be Rebecca for the whole thing. Um, I think it was Mass Effect, damn it. I think it was, um, Resident Evil 2? No, no, no. It was the director's cut. Resident Evil director's cut. Um, but you got to be Rebecca when um, you had to go and get the medicine to help Chris. Because he got attacked by the snake or something and you stumble down the steps and get into the room. And then when you're Rebecca, you have to go around. You have to get all the medicine, kill the hunter at the steps, and then go back in and give Chris the medicine. And then he wakes up and y'all have a moment. And then... Um, Rebecca leaves him there, and then you don't get to be Rebecca anymore. And then in the second game, you get to be um, you 
get to be Sherry for a minute, and you get to be Ada for a minute. And then when you get like the Resident Evil 4, you get to be Ada when it's Leon and Ada and the President's daughter. So, you know, I, I, I love those games. Resident Evil has always been one of my favorite games. I love games like that, so, you know, I'm always down to getting that. So, come to find out that this thing is a freaking movie. I mean, it, it had me jazzed up because, like, Rebecca... Chris, Leon, they're all like eating lunch or something. They're 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 gathering. The only people who were missing was Jill, um, Claire, Sherry, and Wesker's son. None of them were in this thing at all. And um, what the heck was her name? Hannah, Hannah, the girl who was in the last game with Leon at the college. And um, you didn't get to see um. The guy who was with Jill on the boat. So I didn't, because I still had to get that game. But anyway, you didn't get to see that. And so, but the main three people are Rebecca, Chris, and Leon. And they're all talking. And next thing you know, they're attacked by this dude gets out of this truck or something. And starts, like, spraying the building. So they're all diving around. And this chick is, like, a really badass chick with a body from hell. She has Rebecca draped over her shoulders. And they're just, like, Audi 5,000. Then it, it goes to Rebecca, and she's at a table. She wakes up with her hands tied behind her back, and she's like in a wedding gown or some shit. So I'm thinking, I'm going to enjoy playing this game, and boom! It's this coming February 2017. I was like, what? This is a movie? This is a game? Wow. So, in that, you know, that totally messed up my whole agenda on that. It shot me down real quick, because I was like, so if I start saving up now, I had to put a, a trip to where I wanted to go on hold so that I could get this movie or this game. But no, no, I think I'd rather go ahead and take my trip. So I have to save up money so I can go on a trip during the summertime. But anyway, if anybody wants to donate, that would be great. Anyway, um, specifically people who bought money from me. I would love to have my money back by May so I can go on a trip. Anyway, so in closing, the long and short of that is that, you know, I want to... um. I want to let you guys know that if, if you see this commercial, it's not a game. It's a, it's, a, um, it's a movie. So, I'm Jazz Williams Jr. This is 7 minutes and 50 some odd seconds of your life that you can't get back from. The actor who has not been discovered and may never be discovered, but as long as YouTube exists, I exist. So, if you guys want to support me, please do. Don't want to support me. Well, just watch so you can get a good laugh at this freak that's 43. Be seeing you. I'm James Wilson. Come back with number two. I'm ninety-five thousand.